The Pentagon deployed a formation of 14 bombers and fighters over the Korean Peninsula on Sunday that also included South Korean and Japanese aircraft, the latest show of force in response to North Korea's missile launches and nuclear tests. The warplanes were dispatched after North Korea launched a ballistic missile over northern Japan on Thursday, triggering a widespread emergency alert for those who call the region home. U.S. defense officials said two Air Force B-1B bombers from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam and four Marine Corps F-35B fighters from Iwakuni, Japan, combined with four South Korean F-15K fighters and four F-2 Japanese fighters. The aircraft carried out a simulated attack on the Pilsung training range in South Korea, a few dozen miles from the demilitarized zone separating the north and south while using live bombs. The US and Japanese jets also flew in formation over waters near Kyushu, Japan, a southern portion of the country that is the closest major island to the Korean Peninsula. In this video, Defense Updates looks at the capabilities of each of these aircraft and check how powerful they are when combined. Let's get started. Number 5 The McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, F-15E Strike Eagle is an American all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. The F-15E was designed in the 1980s for long-range, high-speed interdiction without relying on escort or electronic warfare aircraft. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Libya, among others. During these operations, the F-15E has carried out deep strikes against high-value targets, combat air patrols, and provided close air support for coalition troops. The F-15K Slam Eagle, K for Korea, is a derivative of the F-15E, operated by the Republic of Korea Air Force. Several major components were outsourced to South Korean companies under an offset agreement, wherein South Korea was responsible for 40% of production and 25% of assembly. The F-15K variant has several features not typically found on F-15Es, such as an AAS-42 infrared search and track, a customized tactical electronics warfare suite to reduce weight and increase jamming effectiveness, cockpit compatibility, and night vision devices. Republic of Korea Air Force has 58 F-15Ks in service. Number 4 The Mitsubishi F-2 is a multi-role fighter derived from the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon and manufactured by Mitsubishi, Heavy Industries, and Lockheed Martin for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, with a 60-40 split in manufacturing between Japan and the United States. Production started in 1996 and the first aircraft entered service in 2000. Here are some aspects which make F-2 more deadly than the F-16. 1. Composite materials used to reduce overall weight and radar signature. Two, Longer and wider nose to accommodate the JAPG-1 and JAPG-2 Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radar. The F-2 was the first operational military aircraft in the world to feature an ASA radar, before the F-22 Raptor's AN-APG-77 ASA radar. Capabilities for four ASM-1 or ASM-2 anti-ship missiles, four AAMs, and additional fuel tanks. Japan has about 94 of these. Number 3 The F-35 combines fifth-generation fighter aircraft characteristics, advanced stealth, integrated avionics, sensor fusion, and superior logistics support with one of the most powerful and comprehensive integrated sensor package ever installed into an aircraft. The F-35's advanced stealth allows pilots to penetrate areas without being detected by radars that legacy fighters cannot evade. The F-35 is designed with the entire battle space in mind, bringing new flexibility and capability to the table. The aircraft is capable of performing varied missions, air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, electronic attack, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Number 2 The B-1 Lancer is a supersonic, variable sweep wing, heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force USAF, and is commonly called the Bone. It is one of three strategic bombers in the USAF fleet as of 2017, the other two being the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and the B-52 Strato Fortress. The US has 100 of these. B-1B has an excellent range, 
5,900 miles or 9,400 kilometers. It is a service ceiling of 60,000 feet. B-1B has a massive payload of 125,000 pounds, that's 56,700 kilograms, internal and external ordnance combined. This makes B-1B deadly. For example, it can carry 84 MK-82 Air Inflatable Retarder, that's AIR, General Purpose, GP, bombs, or, or 81 MK-82 Low Drag General Purpose, LDGP, bombs, or 24 MK-84 General Purpose Bombs. Number 1 Air supremacy is one of the most important factors in modern-day conflicts. North Korea has a fleet of different kinds of fighters, which even includes Chinese derivatives of very old fighters like MiG-17 and MiG-19. The MiG-29s is the KPAF's most modern fighter, and North Korea operates approximately 40 of these. Even for many developed countries, the actual availability of fighter fleet tends to be about 70% of total strength. The situation for North Korea is expected to be even worse. Also, we must note that fighter jets are platforms and their effectiveness depends largely on the weapons they carry. With little to no access to foreign air-to-air -air missiles because of sanction and no in-house designs, the North Korean fighters are equipped with old weapons technology. Resource crises have also meant that the average flying hour AFH, for North Korean pilots is very low. AFH per pilot for the Korean People's Army Air Force is said to be only 15 or 25 hours each year. In comparison, most NATO fighter pilots fly at least 150 hours a year. The very low AFH will ultimately result in lesser prowess and combat skills and North Korean pilots will be found wanting when faced with a well-trained adversary. A formation of B-1B bombers with F-35B, F-15K fighters and F-2 fighters will be a very strong opponent for any air force in the world. The stealthy F-35 can clear the way with long-range air-to-air strikes and precision raids on anti-aircraft sites. F-2 and F-15K will be utilized to escort the B-1B. B-1B can be used for enormous bombing raids. This will be an overwhelming challenge for outdated and strained North Korean Air Force. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.